Are you a fan of horror? Are you a fan of cop shows? Are you a fan of shows like Supernatural or Psych or Sabrina the Teenage Witch? Well, I think I have a show that'll do a good job of blending all these things together and give you an entertaining experience that you'll never forget. Stay tuned. show that I found on a whim. I was scrolling through YouTube while I was supposed to be writing an essay and I was stopped by one of a million YouTube ads. This ad had someone I recognized that interrupted my immediate instinct to skip by the name of Mike Coulter. Most people like myself got introduced to Mike in his leading role as Marvel superhero Luke Cage, or at least until he gets recasted. Fingers crossed he doesn't. Anyway, the trailer featured some spooky themes and it looked like it was going to have demons in it. The complicated formula in my head immediately did the math. Horror plus actor I'm a fan of equals me spending time that I don't have on something that could be terrible. Fair warning, I'm not going to spoil the plot points, but I am going to discuss some themes that could spoil some stuff. So here's your spoiler alert warning going forward. Okay, let's keep it pushing. So while I'm binging my life away on the first season of the show, I'm introduced to three key characters, Christian Bouchard, Ben Shakur, and of course my main man Mike Holter playing David Acosta. These three characters are very interesting and have a pretty dope relationship dynamic. David is a Catholic priest in training who is tasked by the Catholic Church to investigate any notable instances of supernatural evils, like possession or demonic infestations. He's partnered along with Christian Bouchard and Ben, who are both atheists. Ben being a tech expert and Christian being a clinical psychologist. Ms. Bouchard, please take this for your own protection. Trust me, you may need it. Hey yo, what the fuck? If this sounds like a weird group in you, then you're right along with how I felt when I first started the show. This group allows for a well-executed plot theme. The show challenges you to figure out what is and isn't real. A lot of the episodes will go along the same lines of the trio arriving at a scene and all three of the group using their different expertise to kind of determine if the problem they're dealing with is supernatural or not. The way that the show depicts this is done pretty phenomenally, if I say so myself. Most other shows that are similar to this would push 100% in either direction of this thing being supernatural or this thing being based in reality and it just seems to be supernatural. For example, there's a part in the show in which Christian is undergoing a pretty bad stint of sleep paralysis and the sleep paralysis demon is tormenting her constantly. Christian being the atheist psychologist she is, comes up with all sort of logical solutions as to why this is happening to her. Soon enough, she hits the demon with a talk no jutsu and it just happens to leave her alone and doesn't return. But right when you think all is good, Ben has a little cousin of Christian's demon hitting him with the Cosby no jutsu. But maybe I can help you. Ma, I need an adult. I am an adult. If you're interested in the series, you can go over to watch it at the Paramount Plus streaming service they have now, where the most recent season of the show is streaming right now, releasing an episode every week. Come back and let us know in the comments how you feel about it. If you're already a fan of evil, let me know that too in the comments. I'd love to have a conversation and a dialogue over just how good the show is and maybe just your thoughts on it in general. You're now watching The Captain.